I am super excited because I have a, another haul. Um, it was my birthday this weekend, so my birthday was on Thursday, which is October 22nd. So I was very naughty. No, just kidding. Um, but I did take off Thursday and Friday. Sorry, my bangs are like in my face. Um, I took off work Thursday and Friday, which was awesome. Um, and then I was able to do some really fun thrifting. My husband took Friday off with me. So we, um, I went to a couple places on Thursday, but then we did like a big thrift haul, like thrift I guess kind of we we drove a few hours south and went to a bunch of thrift stores um, That were pretty far away that I never really get to go to on my own. So we went there and then um, Yesterday I went to the bins and then we also stopped and picked up um, some stuff from Facebook Marketplace that I've had my eye on, but I was like too lazy to go buy and then nobody else bought it. So I was like, okay, well, I finally have time. Um, let me stop at these places and check out some stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty excited to show you everything that I got. And I actually have it organized for once in, you know, ever. So I have everything kind of set up based on where I got it, so getting pretty professional over here, guys. <laughs> Just kidding, not at all. Um, okay, so I'll start with the things I picked up at Goodwill. Um, pretty random haul, as usual, Goodwill status, right? Um, the first thing I got is a couple pieces of jewelry. I got this really rough little micro mosaic. So I love micro mosaics, and whenever I find them at thrift stores, I always pick them up. Um, I just think they're so pretty. This one is not well done. Um, generally speaking, the smaller the pieces of glass, the more desirable it is. So this one's a little bit um, rough around the edges, a little bit obtuse, but I still think it's cute. So I grabbed that and then I also grabbed um, this, um, I guess it's kind of like a cloisonne uh, bangle, but it's an older one. So it's, for some reason, it's very hard to show you specific details. Um, but it's a kind of like a brushed brass on the inside and then the enamel work is pretty cool it's very different from any of the other pieces and there's something just a little bit more primitive about it it's got a nice heavy weight um it doesn't have any chips which is nice because sometimes when i thrift enamel like claws and a bangles they're pretty chipped up so then i don't i don't bring them home if they're chipped because if i ever did want to resell it you really can't so I just thought this one was really cool and very different. Um, I like these layered, so I'll wear like a whole bunch of them and they just kind of look really unique all together. So I just thought this was really pretty and different. So I'm pretty excited to wear it. And I'm pretty sure that just based on the inside and the, the way the enamel wear is, that it's a pretty old piece. So excited about that. Um, I've been thrifting some jewelry lately, which is kind of fun, um, little, little different from what I've been able to do uh, more recently. Then the next thing I got is this giant lucite grapes. Um, these are like so quintessential mid-century, right? And when I first saw them, I was like, uh, because they are so heavy. Um, I was like, what am I going to do with this? Like, am I going to be able to sell this? They were also like, they looked to be really scratched up. Um, I actually brought them home and washed them. And as you can see, they're really nice and shiny. Um, as I'm looking at them now, they're still like, they still need another scrub and I've scrubbed them already twice. I think it's just because they get dusty and then the dust almost becomes like hardened, I guess. I don't know, because they are quite old. Um, and then it makes them look like they're scratched or they're damaged, but in fact, it's really in pretty good shape. It does have some like paint on the bottom um, from like where it was I think probably sitting on a table and then when it got pulled off the table it like stuck to the table because it had been there so long just a guess but I'm probably not wrong about that um, but anyway I just have never seen one of these at a thrift store I see them at um, antique malls all the time it's not worth a huge amount of money probably like 35 to 40 dollars but anyhow i just had to pick it up because it was kind of a cool novelty piece that i've never found and it's just ginormous and really fun so 
I had to get that. Um, hopefully someone will love them because they're going to be a pain to store until they find their forever home. Um, and then the next thing I found at Goodwill is a piece of vintage clothing. So like I have said before, I don't usually thrift a whole lot of clothing unless it's something specifically like for me that I'll wear because I stink at listing clothing. Like I'm terrible at it. And I just have piles and piles of clothes like everywhere that I need to put on eBay or Etsy and I just haven't. So unless I find something really cool, I don't really bring anything home. But I was looking for me, didn't find anything for me, but I did find something cool for resale. So it's this vintage um, Hawaiian skirt. And the pattern is really neat. It's pretty wrinkled, so I will definitely steam it before I list it and it has these really fun um wooden they are real wood buttons but honestly what's funny is yes it looks very atomic and mid-century but so many companies have since um copied this type of fabric i didn't originally think it was super old until i looked at the tag so the tag's pretty cool um it's i don't want to butcher it but i think it's shaheen's of honolulu so it's this little tag jeans of Honolulu and it's made in Hawaii. So these actually go for quite a bit um, because it is authentic tiki wear. So very excited to find that and hopefully it will make its way to either Etsy or eBay and not just sit in a pile. My guess is it's going to sit in a pile, but you know, I couldn't leave it behind. Um, okay, okay. The last thing I got at Goodwill when I was just by myself is a whole huge, this is like a whole huge um, package of vintage wrapping paper. I went through the whole thing. It's hit or miss. Some of it's terrible. Some of it's awesome. Some of it are like random scraps that some granny like saved. So all of that went in the trash and I just kept the stuff that I thought was either cute or interesting. So I'll just show you a few pieces that I um, pulled out just for fun. Um, I'll try to make it quick because I don't want to bore you to death, but something about vintage paper, I just really enjoy it. Um, okay, so this was, this is vintage, vintage Hallmark, it's graduation. These are probably my, this is probably my favorite, honestly, look at those little owls. Aren't they so cute? Um, but they also had a lot of cool stuff. So she had a lot of butterflies, quite a few vintage butterflies. And these are um, more towards the 70s and 80s They and 90s. A lot of wrapping paper was sold like folded like this, which I don't think makes that much sense because then when you wrap something, it's got the creases in it still, which is kind of lame. Also, it's like one sheet. So you literally can wrap like one present, but I guess you don't get tired of the wrapping paper that you have because you can really only use it like once or twice and then you're on to the next. So in that instance, I guess it's kind of cool, but nowadays every, all the wrapping paper, that one's kind of boring, um, comes, you know, on a roll, so doesn't get all wrinkled but look at that unicorns so 80s oh this was cool vintage snow white i really liked that um these are this is pretty 90s i would say late 80s early 90s i remember having stuff like that ducks um oh these are cool oh gosh this is probably my favorite. Um, I love the fox and the unicorn. I like the cool trees and the bunny. See the bunny down there? Yeah, and I actually have a few pieces of that. So whoever owned that also was a fan of it. Um, this is a really just small scrap, but I kept it because I thought it was pretty. Probably like wedding paper. Um, this looks kind of cool. This one's a little worse for wear, but I thought it was cool. It's like all different um, spices and things. This one's amazing. This is my second favorite. Look at that. It's like so cool. 
Um, then there's a few that are just kind of funny. This one made me laugh. Um, <laughs> this made me laugh. Let's see. This I thought was really cool. It's like different destinations. Jelly beans. Um, this just says congratulations a million times in a row. Kind of cool. Um, some weird green, kind of 70s. Fun green, more fun green. Um, I just thought these were sweet. Nothing too fancy. This was pretty cute. Um, little strawberries in baskets. Liked that. I thought this was really, really pretty. Kind of like a Art Nouveau revival. It's probably from the 70s. More strawberries. Probably like late 70s, early 80s. Um, this is just a very small little piece of happy birthday paper, but I kept it because I thought it was so pretty. And same with this, just a small little bit of happy birthday paper, but I kept it because I thought it was so pretty. Oh, and this, 70s kind of. So yeah, um, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with all of it. I guess I'll probably use it. Um, I am at least gonna try to use it because I am a bit of a hoarder, as I'm sure you know, um, but I do like to try to use my vintage when I can. Can't always, but I'm gonna try. Okay, so um, that was, let's see, that was Thursday. And then Friday we went to actually only three thrift stores because the thrift store that we started off at was like two and a half hours away from us. So um, my favorite brand of thrift store is called like red, white, and blue thrift. Uh, there's three in our area. They're overpriced for sure. And they're cash only. So they're like probably like a money laundering business. Um, no, I'm just kidding. I have no idea. But anyway, they have awesome stuff. I think it's just the sheer volume of things. Like they're just constantly showing, uh, more and more things. So I do have some clips of um just kind of walking around the thrift store in there so i will show you that here meow 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 all right guys walking into my favorite thrift store so i just kind of like to do a panorama a little bit just so you can see like how ridiculously huge this place is i could probably spend all day here honestly um we only went to three stores on this day and that's because they're so megaly huge i didn't even look at half the stuff honestly i just looked at the stuff i was really into okay so this is all the glassware and pottery and stuff like that. A lot of the like decor decorative figurines and stuff like that. Kind of like that little owl, but I think he's TJ Maxx. Wasn't sure. They have a bunch of cute little figurines. I liked that that guy said made in occupied Japan. But, like, $8, really? Are they insane? Crazy. Crazy. Absolutely not. So, I will say, um, as I take you through this thrift store, there is definitely a lot of things that I could have purchased if maybe my inventory was super, super low. But the thing is... As you know, because I've had so many haul videos, that I have a lot of inventory and it takes me a while to get everything listed. So I still have a good chunk of inventory that's not listed. If it wasn't my birthday, I probably shouldn't have been thrifting, but you know. All of that is Lennox, but they have it priced pretty high and the resale value is kind of meh. But. whole bunch of little figurines I 
another one of those little occupied Japan figurines kind of cute this guy's kind of cool probably a souvenir from the Vatican At first I thought that was kind of cool, but I didn't love the heart on it, and it's not super old. Mostly just a souvenir piece. Couldn't tell if those were handmade or not, but when I picked them up I didn't think they were. This little milk glass was Fire King, so I was pretty tempted to buy it, but to be fair, I probably have five of them at home because I've used them for parties as centerpieces. So I was like, man, I really don't think I need another one for $6. Um, if it had been really inexpensive, then maybe, but it's just kind of more accumulating in the hoarding. This was a weird little like mouse rat thing. Caught my eye. Goose. Weird scary bear. And of course there's always a ton of clear glass. There was a good amount of like glass animals but I really am not super knowledgeable about these guys um and they're pretty expensive you can see that one was ten dollars so it's not something that I really know about I don't think they're vintage so it's not really something I'm super excited about although I do know that glass can have some pretty high resale value just not really my thing There's another one of those carts of stuff that they bring out. These are a whole bunch of cookie jars. I think most of these were seasonal. Um, that one was kind of cool. He this was a Lennox. But I think they wanted like 30 bucks for it or something crazy. I don't know. Their prices are so ridiculous at this thrift store. And they just seem to be getting higher and higher over time, unfortunately. But what can you do? I always check out the sets because you never know what you're going to find. And it's kind of cool that they're all together. I'm always attracted to these bowls. And underneath was this carved tray that I really liked. Um, that was kind of cool too, mid-century. I thought this was really cool. I liked it a lot. Um... It's a pretty good price too. I don't know why I didn't pick it up. I just, I don't think I was like in the right mood to get a whole bunch of things. I really just was trying to buy things that I was super excited about. And you'll see in my haul that I actually only left with a couple of things. Um, it's kind of a cute old little cookie jar. Has some chips and things, but it is pretty old, so makes sense. I thought that was cool, but it's not super old either. They always have a ton of these casseroles and soup tureens. That was kind of a neat um, pottery casserole. Last time I was here, they had a lot more, and I wish I would have picked one of them up, but kind of liked that guy, but not just one. The amber canister I liked that but I don't know I know that people collect those amber hens on the nest too so I was thinking about that these were really cool I I actually have a 
smaller set of the rocks glasses, but they tape them and then all the gold comes off. It's so annoying. Um, that little green candy dish is Indiana glass. I've actually sold one of them, but again, I just wasn't that excited about it. I don't know. It was so crazy busy. I honestly don't know how I got to film this much because it was so wild. A whole bunch of teapots. I feel like I want to do more research on teapots because I always find teapots and I never know which ones to buy. Look at all this hilarious stuff. I will say this thrift store is just jam-packed with things 24 7. I'm really surprised I didn't find more but I think there was a lot of pickers here when I was looking around and it was crazy busy for the middle of the day on a Friday. I honestly thought that there wouldn't be as many people there because it was a weekday but clearly I was wrong. Always got to check out the boxes. I don't know what it is, but I love boxes so much. That little one was cool. It almost kind of looked like Cinderella's castle, but it didn't have a Disney sticker on it or anything. So I don't know if it was like bootleg or what. This was stone, so very heavy. Would have been hard to ship. Then they have a whole bunch of clocks. This is where all the decorative plates are. If I'm feeling really froggy, I go through the plates, but honestly, I pretty usually don't take the time to go through all the decorative plates. I thought this was cool. It definitely looked like it could have been sterling, but it was not marked, so on the shelf it stayed. Those little traveling alarm clocks are pretty cute again I've sold a few of them but I'm just wasn't super excited about it I don't know like I keep saying our inventory is crazy right now so I'm trying to be pretty picky Thought that was cool. These are neat and they do sell, but they I think they had them priced at like eight or nine dollars, and you know, I'm probably gonna get 20 bucks for them. Those candlesticks are Lennox, 20 million sugar and creamers. Thought that one was pretty. And we're into the candlestick section. There was a few I was thinking about. Those two silver on the bottom looked mid-century. I almost nabbed them. Nothing too exciting. Those pink um, I thought were pretty. They looked like depression glass. But they were $4 each, so by the time I purchased them, they would have been $8 for the pair. And again, I keep saying the same thing over and over again. Everything's kind of expensive nowadays. Some cute little sugar and creamers. I thought that was cute. Some lusterware. More candle holders. I thought this was weird. It looked like homemade. Kind of looked very mid-century, but I wasn't really sure about it. I thought it was kind of fun, though.
look at that I just bought one of these and then I go ahead and find another one how funny is that and I have literally never seen that before it's so weird how when you find something sometimes you find the next you find it again at the next thrift store super weird bookends those were cool but very heavy I think that was a Thomas Jefferson bust that I didn't even look at um I thought this was cool it's a little vintage desk organizer so all the little clips are tell you when to do things it's like pending tomorrow manana thought that was neat and that gold horse is an old carnival toy so I was kind of into him too but I've actually sold a smaller one of him whole bunch of zebras more figurines, a little toucan, I think he was a souvenir piece. This is usually where I find like my favorite things to look because this is where all the brass and the home decor stuff is, but didn't really find anything too interesting today. I found a whole bunch of things that were just okay. Um, they had a good amount of brass, but I haven't been moving as much brass as I would like to for just how much I have in stock. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's kind of cool. Those guys were really neat, um, but they were like ten dollars each so again silly silly so then this goes into all the small pictures this is where they have all the small pictures I usually quickly go through them I have found some cool stuff but I haven't found anything amazing recently so I'm not as excited about it Now this is all the kitchenware, so I mean they do have a lot of cool glassware. I, I even like those milk glass cups. These blue ones, purple. It would be so fun to just have a wild tablescape with all these different colors, but it stresses me out to think about where I'm gonna put all of this stuff if I were to buy it. And then I'm like, ugh, not necessary. Um, this is all the kitchen stuff, so it's pretty crazy how much stuff they have. It's just piles and piles. I like that little elephant. I thought he was really intricate and pretty, but not vintage and not something I needed. Also not vintage. All the teacups. And we're moving. Usually I find a few things um, mixed in here, but there wasn't really anything that I just had to have. That was pretty. I think it's Wedgwood. Not much to do with just one bowl. Also, it was $22. Like, get a grip. I do love looking at all the teacups. I only buy them if they're extremely unique and weird, but it is fun to look at them. They are so pretty and feminine. Little flowers. And yeah, I liked this also. I thought it would be cool for jewelry storage, actually. I liked how the glass was etched. I thought it was super pretty. But they wanted $15 for it, and I just didn't think it was worth that. Um, this green depression glass was also pretty, but $19. Like, get a grip. I'm not going to spend $19 on a bowl for resale. Absolutely not. Unless it was jadeite. 
and then I would keep it. <laughs> um, so there's all the lamps. They have a whole bunch of lamps, um, a lot of furniture, giant Christmas tree. Um, they don't have as much art as you would think for how big of a store it is and how like Goodwill just has art on art on art just piled up. But maybe they just sell it really quickly. I don't know. But they never really have that much. You do have 20 bajillion vacuum cleaners, though. Pretty wild. They also don't have, like, a crazy amount of furniture, um, considering the size of the store. But I found a couple of things. Um, I found my carved wood screen here. So, I mean, that's pretty awesome. Oh. Some mid-century lamps. I thought these were cute because it was a pair of two. It's kind of fun to have a pair. But. Not really something I needed. I am definitely a lamp hoarder. But. I'm a lamp hoarder in recovery because I haven't really purchased any lamps in a while. This one is really neat. Sometimes I just love things just for their age. Like this, that one wasn't really my style, but I loved it just because it was so old. This was weird. Beaded fruit. I think I've seen this before. I can't remember where, but it was $7.99. So absolutely not. Look at all the hand mixers. I thought this was funny. Where all the hand mixers go to die. Poor hand mixers. Never even thought to buy a hand mixer here. I guess I should have. Random little bowls. I don't know why those are there. And then this made me laugh too. Look at all the blenders. But I loved this 70s one. Hilarious. And the purse section. The purse section is usually so amazing um, because you're bound to find something. Look at how many purses there are. It is definitely overpriced, just like everything else in the store. Um, what they do is they pretty much mark everything really high, and then they have specific days where specific colors are half off. So usually Saturdays are pretty crazy because almost everything is half off. So I think that's why things are priced so high. Um, so like they'll have Coach and Dooney, but you have to kind of scope out which ones they have on sale and then come on the sale day to get it. So it's kind of a lot of work. I like that little brass cat. I almost bought him and I almost brought this little um, equestrian hook, but then I was like, eh. Oh, and I almost bought this bowl too. I was really like in a mood because usually I would have bought that. I thought it was really cool, but again, it's like something that is hard to store. I know that sounds terrible. This is so heavy. It's, I don't know if it's real marble or not, but whoo, so heavy. It's crazy how they had already put out more stuff from the first time I did a walk around. Whole bunch of pictures. Thought that was kind of pretty. Not for $20, but still pretty. Always going to look at etched glass. I just can't help myself. They have so much clothes too. I don't think I even looked at any of the clothes on this day. It was just too overwhelming. Ooh, Hager. Definitely into this. Not for $24.99 though. Jeez Louise. See, but if that was half price, I probably would have bought it. I also thought she was really cool because she's not even super old at all. 
but sh her little pot you could put flowers in that would be like a really cool vase so I almost bought her just because I thought she would be really cool with some flowers in her little pot but she was expensive too she was $14 Sometimes I'm in the mood to buy things and spend the money, but I really wasn't. Glass swan. Duck. Always like a good duck. This guy's like kind of pointless though, because it's just a giant figurine of a duck. Like, I mean, he's really cute, don't get me wrong, but like, why? Blue cat. I've sold those 80s wooden cats before, or I've just sold one, but that was kind of fun. Chicken. This mid-century chess piece is kind of weird. And scary cat, another duck. So I found this Dooney and I, I really liked it, but it wasn't in great condition. As you can tell, the corners were a little bit um, beat up and the flap is really scratched. See, and then when you opened it and it is real, but for some reason the tag was the like Dooney and Burke tag was cut out. So, and they wanted like $36 or something. So it it wasn't worth it for me. I have a good amount of purses to list at the time. Generally, my rule of thumb with Doonies is I like to spend um, okay. about 20. So I hope you enjoyed kind of seeing some of those clips. And now I'll show you the things I got. I didn't really get too much at the first thrift, um, which is weird because they I usually fill my cart with so much stuff. But there were a lot of pickers there on Friday, which is weird because like usually Fridays are pretty good thrift days, but... It's okay. Um, so the first thing I got is this little cloisonne dish, which I, as you know, love cloisonne. Even though I try to collect it, I end up selling it a lot of the time unless I really, really love it for my collection. But um, I just love little jars and things. So not sure what I'm gonna do with it, if I'm gonna keep it for my collection or sell it, but either way, it was really charming. Um, and it was $5.99. And then the other thing I got are these little owls. So I'm definitely keeping these guys. Um, I have the set of three on a branch um, that I thrifted from the same thrift store like a few years, a year or so before. So um, these guys will go next to the other. And I have salt and pepper shakers too that I got at a flea market. Not that you care, but they're so cute, right? So I had to keep them. <laughs> I believe they're by Inesco. Um, but not 100% sure. These guys were $5.99, but they were actually half price. So that's pretty cool. Um, okay, then the next thrift store, um, I got a lot more things. But again, it was like super overpriced. So I was kind of frustrated because I ended up spending way more money than I would have liked to. Uh, especially when I'm used to going to like the bins and getting stuff like really at a great price but it was my birthday so I was like okay well I'm just gonna buy some cool stuff um not all of it is vintage but I just figured I would show show you what I got anyway just for the fun of it um I did get one other shirt but I like washed it and wore it already so it's in the laundry so you guys don't care um, the first thing I got that is not vintage is this little Free People shirt. Um, it's the New Romantic, so it's made in India, which is pretty cool. And it actually still had the tag on it. So it was originally $148, and then it has a sale sticker on here for $88. So um, I paid $20 for it, which is ridiculous. But I love Free People. And this will be something that I'm going to wear for me. So it's just very pretty and delicate. Um, the fabric is just super light and soft and just really pretty. So I'm very excited about it. Um, it was kind of like a birthday present to me. And I'm at the place now where I feel like, now don't get me wrong, 
twenty dollars is not a lot. Like I, I mean, it is for a thrift, but like not for a good, a, like a nice shirt from like a good brand. And I just feel like I would rather have a smaller like capsule wardrobe of things that I love, like love, I'm super excited to wear, than just have like a huge wardrobe of things that I'm like meh about. So actually I've been going through my wardrobe and trying to sell a lot of stuff that I don't wear anymore or that it just doesn't get me excited or that maybe I thrifted and I was like, I can wear this to work, but like I don't ever feel good when I wear it, so what's the point? Um, so I've been trying really hard to just like get my wardrobe really down to just like my things that really, really get me excited. So this will definitely go in that category of things I love. Um, it's just really pretty. So way overpriced for a thrift store, but unfortunately when you find something that's new with tags, they know how much it costs. So then they price it accordingly, which is lame, but whatever. Um, the next piece of clothing I got is for resale. Um, it is vintage and it's amazing. Um, so it is this short sleeve shirt, sweater Mickey. Um, and at first I thought that maybe it was a reproduction because it just is like too perfect and too cool to actually be true vintage, but it is definitely true vintage because if you look at that tag, um, it says Disney character fashion. It's a size medium. Um, really, really cool. Like look at that Mickey. How cool is that? So these actually go for quite a bit online, um, somewhere between like 60 and $100. So um, I paid $5 for it. So I feel like that kind of offsets my $20 free people shirt and my $10 lucky brand shirt. Like why do they want so much money for stuff like that? I don't even understand, <sighs> but whatever. Um, got that to sell. Then in my, I think, is it my last video? I talked about how, oh yeah, it was my last video. I talked about how I buy too many mugs and I need to do like a mug purge. And of course I bought four mugs. So go me. Um, I will say only one of them is to keep, but still. So I'll show you the ones I got to sell first. Um, I got this set. It's not really truly a set, but they match. So I'm going to sell them as a pair of vintage stoneware little cat mugs. I actually, the mug hoarder that I am, already have this mug. So I'm going to sell these too. But they're super cute. Um, or I might gift them to my best friend. I don't know. She loves cats, but I also send her way too much junk. And she's probably like, I don't want any of this. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, but really cute. These were a dollar each. So that's not too bad. And they're pretty cute. Then the next thing I got to sell. So what's so funny about this thrift store? Well, it's funny to me. Is that they're constantly bringing carts of stuff out. Like Goodwill. Maybe we'll have like one cart that you can look at that they're slowly putting out. But this place is wild, like just constantly, constantly all day breaking stuff out. And there's a million people there. So like you can barely move. It's just really, really hectic and crazy. Um, and it's cash only. So you have to be pretty choosy about what you're buying because you can't just like fill your cart and be like, whatever. And it's not like dirt cheap. So again, you can't just fill your cart and be like, whatever. So I did it once over. Um, and then by the time I had come around again a second time, they had already put a whole bunch of more stuff in there. And I was out and I was like, I keep missing stuff because they kept putting more stuff out. Like what in the world? So this was one of those things that they had just put out and I, I missed it because I had already looked everything, they put everything out and I came back. So that is a good kind of rule of thumb to just make sure that you like check multiple times because um, you'll miss stuff. So this is a vintage um, Las Vegas um, souvenir mug. I think what I really like the most about it though is it has all the old casinos. So you just kind of know how dated it is based on the like all of these old casinos, a lot of which aren't even around anymore. So just thought that that was really, really cool and very mid-century and someone would is really going to be excited about this. And it's in really great condition. I'm pretty sure no whoever owned it just like had it for display 
or they were a hoarder like me and just like had it in a shelf somewhere. So i um, very excited about that. That is to resell. Then the only mug that I found for moi is another big kind of like, I guess it's sort of like a beer mug, but I'll use it most likely for coffee is this really cute little owl mug. So um, I think I have a smaller version of this but I don't have the big one. So I love them sitting on the little branches and I love this size for coffee because like I've said before, vintage coffee mugs are really small. So you end up drinking like three cups of coffee when you really don't need to be drinking three cups of coffee. So um, perfect size or for a beer too, you know, you never know. Um, so that one is for me. The other three are for resale. Um, then I found these little cats um, that I will be selling. I picked them up because they're Royal Copenhagen um, and they're also really charming. So they're these sweet little kitties that are kind of all just in a pile. Um, so this is for resale. Royal Copenhagen actually goes for quite a bit. So whenever I find it, I scoop it up. So I believe this was like $3, I think $2.99 is how much I paid. So not bad at all. And those are cute for resale. So got those. Um, then I got this little candle holder. It's very like 80s, I would say maybe, maybe late 70s. Um, but I love that it's etched glass and then like kind of the shabby chic little panels of lace are really really pretty it's brass and it has feet and then it opens so it opens like that it's pretty dusty and it has a mirror on the inside and then you put a little candle so i did get this for resale um but i just thought it was really charming and i think somebody's gonna hopefully really like it um it has a little handle so you can carry it if you want to and i paid 3.99 for that so not too bad not like amazing but not terrible um then i also got more cups i got a set of three of these stoneware i guess they're kind of like wine goblets but they are handmade and they're really beautiful um they have kind of some crazing because they are quite old but no chips which is really nice and they're just this really pretty blue um they need a bath they're kind of dusty but they're really, really cool. So they were $1.99 each and I got a set of three. I wish they would have had four, but that's okay. Three is better than zero. Very cool. So I got those. Um, those are also for resale. Um, oh yeah. Then I got this little guy and I'm really sad because I didn't realize he was chipped. Once again, I got, I got duped by the tape and the sticker and all of that but I might just keep him for myself um or at least if I list him I'm definitely gonna put him out for now because I just really like him um so yeah Ooh. did you guys just see the lights flicker that is scary it's like thundering really bad I hope that I don't lose power that would be really bad um okay so he's this little guy um, he's made in Japan and he's this really cute little Asian dude. I love his face. He's just really sweet and well done. Um, I like his little shoes too. And I think the coolest part though is really that he's not just like a figurine, that he is holding this little trinket box. So his little trinket box opens. So I would love to keep him and just use him for jewelry. But what stinks is, as you can probably see, the top of his little trinket box is pretty chipped. So I think I'm going to paint it. I wish I had gold paint, but I'm going to paint it white at least or like a creamy color so that it's not quite so noticeable. Um, and then just I'll probably list him and then um, put him out and put some earrings and stuff in him until he sells. But just thought it was really cool and different. And then... Uh, you know, he says made in Japan on the bottom. He was $9.99, but half price, so five bucks. Not bad. Um, ee, sorry, I'm like up in your grill really close. <laughs> All right. Um, then I got this little plaque. It's ceramic and it's very cute and 70s. It says love. And I just thought it would be really cute for a kitchen these two little kissing friends, maybe even like a cute little like engagement party gift. 
Um, looks like that in the back. It has a little made in Japan. Um, the only thing is it does have a little doink here, but I think I'll just paint it orange. Obviously, like I'll note it in the listing, but I don't think it'll be as noticeable if I paint it orange and then it has a little, and you don't really notice it like if it's hanging on the wall, but still kind of stinks, but really cute. So that was $2.99, so not terrible. Um, okay, so that's also to sell. Um, didn't get like tons of stuff to keep. Um, but you know, this I did get to keep, at least for now. Um, so this is an antique little, um, I wanna say maybe it's, I'm not sure if it's Japanese or Chinese, but I do believe that it's pigskin. Um, and then it has this really cool picture of these um, little guys out hunting on horseback. Um, and then you can see like how intricate the wood detailing is on the sides and then the bottom and the inside. So it is really, really quite old. I would say it's probably um, antique. You can almost, you can tell like that the sides have been whittled instead of cut, which is pretty cool. Um, and I just thought it was really, really beautiful. I liked that it's a little cracked and that it's kind of dirty and I don't know, I just loved it. So. I'm probably going to keep this and just like store jewelry or something in it. I really like boxes. I love storage, like cute ways to store stuff. So love this. It's really weird. Like when you go to a thrift store and there's just, you know, tons and tons of junk on the shelves and you have to kind of dig through all the junk to find something special. I'm sure I miss great stuff all the time. Um, I'm sure when you guys watch the video, you're going to be like, why didn't you buy it? fill in the blank um because honestly there was a lot of stuff there I could have bought if I was like if my inventory wasn't like coming out of my ears and I was just going to source there's a lot of stuff I would have bought at all of these thrift stores that I'm showing you but the thing is I am jam-packed so I'm just kind of picking up things that I think are really unique and really different that I haven't seen um before so I do love glassware, but I don't pick up as much of it because I just feel like I find it all the time. So generally what I pick is like kind of more unique things. But anyway, um, so this is for me. So pretty much from that place, I'm just got these two and then this little guy. And that's kind of it for like things I'm 100% keeping so far. Um, and then the last thing is actually a purse that Jordan found for me when we were at the thrift store and he was going to buy it for me as like a Christmas present, but he wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not. So sometimes like when we thrift together, he'll like sneakily go and like look at stuff without me and then um, buy it before I can see what he's buying. So this was kind of one of those moments where he was out on the prowl all by himself so it's a huge thrift store um but he just didn't want to buy something that i like wouldn't want because they of course this obnoxious thrift store had um this item marked really really high so um i'm just gonna say that i'm a weirdo and <laughs> this is not the type of thing that's for everyone i'm just very quirky and i like weird stuff um i love kind of novelty um weird things that most people wouldn't love. So I'll just say that. Um, so this is vintage. So before you yell at me for like harming an animal for a bag, um, this is very old. This is not, I, I'm not sure if this is something that people still do, but I hope not, but I don't know. Um, so it is a crocodile bag. Um, I just loved that it has like the little, look at that, it's got the little scales. Um, it's quite old. It's pretty shabby. It's in really good shape considering how old it is. Um, and it has a long strap and it's just really cool. Um, I'm super excited about it. I, I know that there is like a little bit of legal, um, where it's like legal to hunt for alligators in order to just kind of like control the population. And there's like only certain times that you can do so. This is vintage, so I am not sure. Um, the backstory on this but i don't condone like killing an alligator to make a bag but i do think it's super cool because it's old and funky and just like really weird um it opens on the back side here 
and then it has a little pocket and it's got little magnets so this was pretty expensive i think it was like 40 bucks which is like way overpriced it's like pretty much what it what it goes for on ebay um depending on the bag but i loved the scales i couldn't find any on ebay that had like the little scales like this i'm sure if i looked hard enough i could find one but i just thought it was really cool um and different and unique so i'm gonna keep it for a little while i might end up selling it you never know with me um but i just like really 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 love it um so i know it's kind of weird so it's not gonna be for everybody but i'm really excited about it okay all right so oh that was the first two thrift stores and then i have one more to show you all the things okay um i did not get a lot at this last thrift store oh my goodness but i bought one thing that was kind of expensive um for my mom so the first thing i got is these really really cool owl brass owl hooks um they are incredibly heavy so i'm not sure i'll probably list these but they're really cool and i would love to keep them <laughs> like look at their little eyes um they actually have a note oh ow um where they were given you can't really see it at all but they were given as a christmas present in 1987 um to tammy so yeah they're really cool though really really cool um they weigh a bajillion pounds so they're gonna cost like an arm and a leg to ship but they're they're pretty rad um okay um the next thing i got are these little hornsey um oil and vinegar little guys um I love Hornsey and whenever I find it, I always pick it up. I only have two canisters that I bought like years and years and years ago. Um, and that's it. Like I've seen, I, I check it from time to time on eBay to see if I can find a good price, but honestly it's pretty expensive. So when I found these, I was super excited cause I love the little daisies. This is not the same pattern as my canisters, but oh, they're so cute. Um, I love them. So. They were $5.99, which is not bad. Not bad at all and very cute. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to sell those or list those. Um, I'll probably list them or keep them, I mean. I'll probably list them though and just put them out like on my kitchen counter until they find their forever home. Because sometimes like it can take like six months for something to sell. So you get a good amount of time to enjoy it before it sells, so. Um, then I picked up these two little prints. They are, I thought they were paintings at first, but then I was like, nope, they're prints, but they're still pretty cute. I think what I'm going to do is um, find a little frame and sell them like that and sell them in a pair. They are cool. Um, this one is the Blair Castle. Um, they're souvenir pieces. And this is the Edinburgh Castle. So they are from 19... 86 and 1984 and they're from someone's vacation um so vintage but not like super old or anything but pretty just cute they were a dollar 99 each i think i ended up paying a dollar i think they were on sale i can't remember but anyway they're pretty cute so i will list those um hopefully well, I'll find a frame maybe for them and then I'll list them. But, and then the last thing I got is a Christmas present for my mom. Luckily, she doesn't watch my channel because that, that I couldn't show you. Um, but she has been wanting this specific um, Hummel. It's a little girl with a deer. So actually, what's kind of funny is this thrift store had her the last time I did a big haul and we went there, but she was $60 and I was like, that's how much she goes for online. So I'm not paying that much, but she was half off, which is really cool. So I got her for 30 and I just think she's super, super cute with the little deer. And it's pretty awesome because this is the specific one my mom wanted. She wanted the little girl with the deer. So, um, they're very sweet and I'm, hoping she'll like it. So that will be one of her Christmas gifts. Um, so I'll hold that onto that until then.
Okay. Okay, so I have, um, I have a few things I got from Facebook Marketplace. I have a couple things I got as birthday gifts. And then I have a whole bunch of junk that I got at the Goodwill outlet. So yeah. Um, but before I show you any of that, I just kind of wanted to show you, I'm super excited. Um, so, you know, like dork alert over here, but in my last haul, I showed you these um, ship paint by numbers that I had thrifted and I almost didn't even buy them because they were so gross. They were super dirty. Um, the frames were like this really ugly mauve like purple that I just could not stand. Um, so I just kind of wanted to show you cause I'm really proud of myself. I actually took the time to clean them. So I cleaned the actual paint by number and then I painted the frames. Um, I definitely should have spray painted them. I'm an idiot but I didn't realize we had spray paint. My husband's like, why didn't you just use the spray paint? I was like, oh my gosh, because it took me like 25 million years to paint these frames um, without them being streaky. But anyhow, I'm super excited about it. So now I'm gonna list them on Etsy. And then hopefully now that they are nice and clean, they will find a forever home and somebody will be really excited to have them. So. I know I am proud of myself for making them look nice again. So I thought I would show you um, just because I was excited about it and because they were so gross. Like I almost didn't buy them. Um, even though they were super cheap, I almost was just like not worth it. They're yucky. Um, so I'm really, really, really happy that I like cleaned them and made them not look gross. So yay me. Okay. Um, Let's do Facebook Marketplace. Okay, so the first thing I got is um, I stopped at this lady's house who her dad, but she was like an older lady. So she was like, I wanna say in her 60s or 70s and her dad had just passed away um, and he collected old books. So she just had like a whole collection of old books and was like, yeah, just come and um, check them out. So luckily I, I'm not dead because I like went in their house and went digging through their books because I'm crazy. Um, but they were really nice and they were like older people, so it was fine. Um, I got two books from my mom, um, two like antique poetry books from the, one was from like 1894 and the other one's from like 1911, so that was really cool. But then I also found a couple of little books for myself. Um, the first one is Wildflowers of the East. Um, oh, Wildflowers East of the Rockies. So I just love this green. Um, it's amazing. It's in beautiful shape. And the whole thing, I don't know if I can really show you because I'm a lefty. Um, but the whole thing is these beautiful prints. Um, and it was, this is from 1910. So believe it or not, this is quite an old book. It's just in really wonderful condition and it's from the Read Nature series. So I am 1000% going to look for the more of these Read Nature series books um, on eBay because this was amazing. Really excited about that. And then the other book I got for myself is this Bird Neighbors. Um, so I just thought the I thought the cover was really neat. Um, this one is also quite old. It's from, let's see, let's see. This is from 1904. Um, so it's, it also has some cool pictures in it. They're actually like pretty weird in this one, but. But anyway, I collect old nature books. I especially love when they're green. Um, as you can see, those are just a very small bit of my obnoxious collection. So very excited to find these. Um, I paid $10 for all four. So I felt like that was a delightfully good deal and I was very excited about it. Um, then the next thing I got at Facebook Marketplace is pretty funny, actually. I don't know if it's funny or if it just like is logical that literally everyone I buy stuff from on Facebook Marketplace is like 70. <laughs> like everything I buy is from someone's grandma. And I guess that's because that's what I want. Like all of the grandma like 
awesome loot, but pretty hilarious. Um, so oh, I'm like the worst guys. I don't know how to check my Facebook marketplace like ratings, but I'm sure they're awful because so this poor lady, she offered me, um, she had these pictures up for $30. So I was like, that's fair. I'm not going to haggle. Um, I thought I had $5 in my glove box because usually I do for like valet parking or just like you never know. Usually I have more than that, honestly, just to be safe. But I didn't. I had only $1. So I'm like, oh my gosh. So I only had $29 for her. So I had to pay her the last dollar in dimes dimes this poor lady she's like I'm like I'm so sorry I'm the worst and she's like well it's okay I'll just use them at McDonald's they always need change and I'm like okay thank you I'm sorry um so it's like this cute little granny that lived all by herself um but it's these set of pictures that uh obsessed so um the it's these antique bunny plates this is probably my favorite one um, they're all framed in the same frame, which is pretty rad. I am not sure of their exact age, so they might be vintage reproductions or they might actually be quite old. I honestly don't care. Like, obviously I would rather if they were very old, but they're so cool that I'm just very excited to have them. Um, they're beautiful though. And you know, I love bunnies, especially brown bunnies because cabbage. So... This guy's pretty funny. So I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them. I might put them in our bedroom. Um, I really don't know yet, but they're amazing and I'm obsessed with them and it's probably one of my most favorite Facebook marketplace finds. So I think $30 for the set of four was like totally fair. Um, it's less than $10 a picture and I definitely would have paid $10 a picture. So worth it. Um, okay. All right. And then the last thing I got on, on I guess on, on Facebook marketplace is this old poster. So in a few of my older, not older, but like other hauls, I talked a lot about how I've been really into like older um, museum posters and how cool they are. And then just like using them as art. And I kind of want to do a gallery wall now because I have three. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how we do. But um, when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. So um the seller and I just kept like missing each other forever and I was finally like well I guess I'm not going to get it but it hadn't sold yet and yesterday I was like in the area picking up some other Facebook marketplace stuff and I was like oh my gosh can I come and luckily she her son was home so he was able to um give me this but the colors are so vibrant. It's from 1977, um, the Hibble Museum of Art on Palm Beach Island. And I'm obsessed. Like, can we just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you can tell how beautiful it is, but it's so beautiful. Like, oh, I love art so much. Like lamps and art and jewelry. My whole house is just like, lamps and art and jewelry <laughs> um but super excited about that guy oh um and i totally forgot because they were buried behind this stuff from facebook marketplace um on thursday when i went to goodwill i found two other pieces of art i was like i thought i bought more stuff at goodwill that's weird because i did so um i found a couple things jordan is very not sure about the first thing he's like not here for it but i think it's cool so i don't know you tell me what you think um so it is this dog painting um so i know that it does like with an oil painting you want to look for like the brush strokes so it does have the brush strokes so i do believe that it is real um 
Based on the wood that it's stretched onto though, I believe that it's like an older canvas that has been stretched onto a newer piece of wood. Could be wrong, um, but that's kind of how it appears to me. Also the sides, like you can see like where the paint kind of goes off on the sides. So I think that's another good way of telling that it actually is a real painting, which is pretty cool. But um, can we just have a moment for these awesome dogs? Like, I don't know, I love the colors and the tones and these like, kind of like grumpy, like aristocratic looking dogs. I don't know. They just look very like royal and regal. So um, this was $10, which is kind of a lot for Goodwill. Um, but I couldn't leave it behind. It's so weird and awesome. And it's signed, so. I don't know, kind of want to keep it. Me and art, I don't know what it is. I always want to keep all the art. I'm so ridiculous. Uh, and then the other thing is another old poster. Um, but I love old nature prints, so all the old nature prints are just coming home with me. Um, so these guys are woodpeckers, they're pretty cool. I think my favorite part of them, it well, one of it, is this like bamboo frame. Super cool. Um, but yeah. What's kind of fun about it is they used the, the box that the frame came in um, as backing. So it still has like the original label and the postage stamp. So the postage stamp is dated 1961. So um, that's when this is from. Pretty cool, right? It needs a bath, it's kind of dirty, but I just think it's really cool. So I'll probably list that, although I obviously would like to keep it because I love anything art, but I'll, that will probably be up on Etsy. <sighs> yes. Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to show you. Oh, I got two things for my birthday. Um, I'm saying I'm a lot. I'm sorry. I got two things for my birthday. One is from my parents and the other is from my husband. Uh, they all were very nice also and gave me some thrifting money. So that was really fun because it's way more fun to thrift when you have like a little bit of, little bit of spending money. So I'll show you the first thing my parents got me is this really beautiful Johnny Was shirt. So I just love it. It's, I need to steam it, but it's so beautiful. Look at the embroidery on that. And then like the arms. So this is not vintage. Um, but I just am obsessed with Johnny was like if I could if I only if I could just wear Johnny was for the rest of my life and nothing else that would be totally okay with me I would just be fine with it because um, it's so intricate it's so beautiful I love that this at the bottom here kind of looks like doesn't this look like an oriental pot kind of I don't know it has like a very oriental vibe to it but anyway it's super flattering um, and I'm really really here for it so my mom picked that out all by herself and I love it. So that was from my parents. And then Bear got me. I know that I talk way too much, guys. But um, this present is something that I've been looking at. It's been, he's been living at an antique mall for years. And the lady who owns him, according to the like people that run the antique mall, is quite wealthy. And so she's like had a price in her mind and was not willing to budge at all like didn't care if the item sold or not was like really really stuck in her ways um I guess my husband was able to negotiate a little bit but hardly anything at all but over the years I've always gone and looked at him and wanted him so so bad but I just didn't want to spend the money and I was like this is this is not something that I need like there's other things that I need and I shouldn't be buying this but he was super nice this year and finally bought him for me and he totally tricked me and made me think that he was sold out he even like called like fake called them and had a whole conversation and usually like you can't really trick me with I am gullible but like 
I was totally, totally duped. So it was really good. It was a really good birthday. So I'll show him to you now. Make sure I don't drop him. Um, so he is a taxidermy owl. Years ago, I named him Archimedes um, after the owl from Sword in the Stone. And I would every year we'd be like, all right, let's go visit Archimedes. Maybe they marked him down, but no, never. Um, he's super crusty and dusty. I love his little feet. He's actually quite big. Um, All my friends think I'm a lunatic because I have a stuffed owl and I really, really am excited about it. Um, taxidermy owls are, it's illegal in the United States to taxidermy an owl, even if you like found it in the woods, like, and it had already died of natural causes, you still couldn't taxidermy um, the owl. As far as like my understanding, I could be wrong, but I researched it because I'm a weirdo. And so, I mean, I think that's good though, because owls should be protected because owls are amazing. Right, Archimedes? Right. So in the United States, um, to get a taxidermy owl, it has to be antique. So it is very difficult to find, well, at least in my area, maybe not up north, but here it is very difficult to find taxidermy owls. He's the only one, oh, I've only seen two in like all my years of antiquing and thrifting and all of that. And the other one was not good. So, um, He's amazing. I love his feet. I love his claws. I love his like expression. Like, and he's got like the one ear up and one ear down and he just like looks so like grumpy and just amazing. I don't know. I literally, oh, I love him so much. So I'm totally here for him. I'm obsessed with him. Um, I've wanted him forever. So very exciting. Um, even if you go on eBay and if you look up taxidermy owls, they're all from out of the country. And it's pretty scary to buy something like that from like Europe because you don't know if it's gonna get stopped in customs and then like you're gonna lose like this huge investment. So all on eBay, like there's not, I could not find one single um, authentic taxidermy owl. There are two that I found that were not even real owls. They were recreated using feathers from other birds and they were like thousands of dollars, so crazy. Um, so he was not thousands of dollars, obviously. I wouldn't spend that. But I do love him with all my heart. I have wanted a taxidermy owl forever, and Archimedes is literally it. So he's amazing, um, and I'm obsessed with him. And I know I'm super weird, um, but I love him. I love him so much. I do have a, a few other little taxidermy pieces. Um, I love taxidermy butterflies. I have quite a few of those. Um, I have two ducks and a pheasant and that's it. But Archimedes is clearly like, he's like, I love him so much. I just, I can't guys. I love him so much. All right. Um, okay. The last few things I'm going to show you is from, um, going to the Goodwill outlet yesterday 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 and then we're good we're done okay um be right back okay sorry guys i had to grab one thing that i wanted to show in this haul that i completely forgot so um i went to the goodwill outlet i stayed there for like 75 years because i always like to wait for them to change at least a few of the bins out so you can see like multiple stuff um it's hit or miss so you just never know what you're gonna find because everything's so inexpensive it's like you just throw it in your cart. Um, I spent five dollars and like 50 cents. So that to me is pretty astounding. Um, I feel like every time I go to the Goodwill bins, it's always like a different price. Like sometimes I feel like I'm getting the most amazing deals. Sometimes I'm like, was that right? I don't feel like that's right. So I don't really know how like I don't know. I really don't know. But I will tell you that I am super excited about all the stuff I got. And I did not argue with how much I paid because I was like, perfect. I was here all day and it's worth it. Um, okay. So um, the first thing I got is this little ashtray. It's this little cute little fish. 
It's a souvenir piece. It says the fisherman's prayer. So it says, God grant me strength to catch a fish so large that even I, when telling of it afterwards, may never need to lie. So pretty cute. Um, I liked the little fish graphic on it. I thought that was fun. Um, I got these vintage birthday candles. I thought this would be really cool. Um, you know the happy birthday postcard I got in my last haul? I thought these would look really cute styled next to the postcard like for birthday. So I'm gonna keep them and, and put them with the postcard so that when I style them, they go together. So that was my thought behind it, why I was like. But I also really like the old graphics, right? Totally worth it and unopened and 15 cents. So pretty cute. Really weird, the stuff you find at the Goodwill outlet. Um, then I picked up this little hand-painted dish. I liked the little metal, um, I guess it's a leaf. So it's not anything of value. I just thought it was really charming and I was at the bin, so whatever. The same kind of goes with this little picture. Um, I have no idea what it says because I believe it is, I'm not sure what language it's in. I'll have to look it up, but it's probably a prayer judging by the fact that it has a little angel, but I just thought it was really pretty. Um, it has an old sticker for $12 for wherever it was being sold. Um, and I just thought it was really kind of funky and cool. And these small little art pieces, especially like the old ones, um, do sell pretty well for me on Etsy. So I was excited to find that because it's just kind of cool, like different. Um, then I got this little apron. I basically just got it to wrap my things in, which is kind of random, but I liked the graphics on it too. I thought it was cute. So I just kind of threw it in to wrap my things. And I was like, also, it's pretty cute. So I got that. I also got this little bag. Um, I thought this would be cool if I sold like really nice jewelry on eBay or Etsy to send it in that. So I got that um, basically to send to customers. Um, then I got a set of four of these little napkins. So they're all in varying condition. Um, some of them are pretty stained. So I'll have to soak them but look at the little chickens like oh my gosh how cute is that all handmade all hand stitched just literally so cute so super excited about finding those guys and even though some of them are kind of dirty it is nice to have a set so i'm just gonna soak them and see what happens i don't know um okay then i got this little guy um i believe it's moriage it, it looks like it's missing the top, so it's obviously not in great shape, but I liked the little food dogs on the side, and I liked the graphics on it, and I liked the little, like, food dog little feet, even though they're kind of chipped, and it's pretty crazed, so it's obviously got some age to it. Um, I would not sell this for hardly anything on Etsy, but I just thought it was kind of cool, and maybe somebody would think it was fun, too. So I got that. Um, same thing with this little vase. Thought that was pretty sweet. It has a little flower on the back. Um, again, it has like the little numbers on the bottom. Thought it was really cool. It does say 1895, but I don't know if that would actually be from 1895. I can't imagine, but maybe. Thought it was pretty anyhow. Um, then I found this little, it's kind of like a little bird vase, um, and then it has these antique beaded flowers coming out of it. It's weird. It's like super cracked, but I don't know what's holding it together. <laughs> Something is holding it together because it's still doing okay. Um, it says Japan at the bottom, and... I don't know, there's something just like shabby about it that just really spoke to me. I loved it. So I had to get that. Um, then I got this little stone foo dog. thought he was kind of cool. Um, I think he was an incense holder. I think someone used him as that, but I'm not really sure. He would look really cool though with like the smoke coming out of his mouth. Um, very excited to find him. 
Um, then I found a set of two of these cactus cups. I wish that they had had more than two, but I'll take what I can get. At least it's not one. So those are really neat. Um, I found a few little unframed needle points that I will probably frame, um, but they're really, really cute. Happy to find those guys. Um, oh, then I got these vintage tiki coasters. You can kind of see the sticker on the bottom that sort of shows how old they are. They're in varying condition. They're not perfect. Um, most of them are pretty good though. So they look like that. Um, I, they're probably Hawaiian, um, but one of them is pretty cracked. But anyhow, I will put those on Etsy and see if somebody, if they speak to anybody. I just loved how the box was this cool texture and just, it's got a lot of age to it. And I don't know, I was excited about it. I just really like it. Um, oh, so then I found some books. <laughs> Okay, the first is another one of these watercolor um, booklets, which is funny because this is a totally different Goodwill outlet, like on the complete other side of our state. So I'm not really sure, like they're not connected, but I'm gonna put this with the other ones I found previously. And it's pretty awesome. Like the graphics in here are just so cool. So very excited about that. It was originally $5.70 at a place called Ben Franklin. I don't know. Sounds cool though. Very excited. And then one of the most random but also awesome finds is these vintage um, tiki like manuals, like how to throw a tiki party from the 50s. So the first one is this one. It says how you can give Hawaiian parties and the graphics in these guys, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at that. How cool is that? And all the pages are like that. Um, so this one, so awesome. Um, oh, and this one was, this one's from, that's hilarious. This one's by Dole and it's out of, um, San Francisco. So I don't know. I think I've talked a little bit about it that I do collect tiki cups, even though I only have like four, but whenever I find them, I pick them up because we do actually weirdly enough have a tiki hut. So I always thought it would be kind of cool to have a tiki party. Um, so I know these would sell like super fast, but I kind of want to keep them just for my own, like. I think they would be such cute decor also if we had a tiki party. Um, this one is directions on how to do the hula and it actually has pictures of the girls doing the Hawaiian girls doing the hula and gives you like step by step directions on how to do the hula, which is pretty amazing. Um, love that. And then my favorite one is this one um, and it's the Hawaiian party book and it says how to entertain the Hawaiian way. And it is, the original owner wrote 1958 on it. So that's obviously when they had their Hawaiian party. So look at that, it's just so good. And this whole thing is just um, a mixture of things. It's like what to serve, but it has these really cute pictures um 
It's full of recipes that you could have. Toasts, making a flour lay, literally tells you like how to make your own flour lay, which is pretty cool. How to give a lay. The traditional and graceful way to give a lay, Hawaiian style, is to place the garland gently around the neck of the recipient, accompanying the draping with a kiss. At parties, the host greets wahine guests and the hostess presents each cane guest with a lei. It is a warm and friendly prelude to any social occasion. Pretty legit. Look at those graphics. So um, don't know how these ended up at the Goodwill outlet, but I'm so excited I was able to rescue them because they're amazing. So, oh my gosh, it just makes me so mad that like these would have been in the trash. I just happened to be there that day. Nobody else would have picked this up. Everybody else is buying toasters. <sighs> Sad. Um, okay, then the other, th I, I saved my favorite things for last. So the first I'm gonna say is like one thing, even though technically two, because they look cool together, um, are these two vases. Now, I believe that they are goofus glass from my research. If I'm wrong, please let me know because I would love to know as much as I can about them. They are um, obviously glass. They're very chippy. Um, they look quite old to me, but again, I could be totally wrong. This one is blue and this one is green and oh my gosh do i love them like i love them there's something really tacky about them but there's also something very like victorian about them i don't know but i love them so so excited to find them they're so cool <sighs> so cool um so if you have any more information about these guys or goofus glass or whatever then let me know i always love to learn i'm always trying to learn um, but it's hard. You have to just kind of do your own research and, and figure things out as you go. Or, um, you know, I follow a lot of people on Instagram and they kind of talk about things they collect and they look for and I learn that way too. But all you can do is just try to educate yourself as you go. So I believe those are quite old, but I could be wrong. They could be more mid-century, not quite like old, old. Um, but either way, they're pretty neat. I'm not gonna show you because it's not really that exciting, but I did get four um, silver plated sconces that all match. They're not super old. I think they are probably vintage, um, but I already put them away, so whatever. But I just think it's really crazy that I got all of this stuff for $5. Like, isn't that just insane to you? And I haven't even showed you my most favorite thing that I got. So, okay. I have to tell you a story. I know I'm super annoying with my stories, but I just have to tell you the story. So I get there at, I don't know, like 10. I should have gotten there right when they open, but I don't know, I just, I just took my time. I don't know, I was tired. So I get there at 10 and a lot of the ladies, what they do because they stay there all day is once they fill their cart with things, they find like blankets or towels and they cover their cart with a blanket or a towel or a quilt or whatever and they put it in the corner so that nobody goes through their stuff and then they almost always have like somebody guarding all their stuff but it's kind of like an unsaid unspoken role that you just don't go through someone else's cart especially if it's like all the way far away in the corner with a, like something over it so one of the ladies had the most amazing quilt all like draping over her stuff and I was like <gasps> I was dying guys I was dying like oh my gosh I wanted that quilt so bad so I'm lurking around I'm lurking I'm lurking guys I must have stayed there I think I stayed there for like four hours 
I'm not even joking now. I found all this stuff because I did stay there so long and they kept bringing out bins and I was just waiting forever to see like if she's eventually going to buy her things and then decide if she wants the quilt or not because a lot of the time too what people will do is just like load up their cart with a whole bunch of stuff and then when they're ready to check out they kind of do like a once over and make sure that they want everything and then the stuff they don't want they throw in another spot and there was another lady that was like kind of like a newbie to um the goodwill outlet because she was everybody was in line like waiting for them to bring more carts out so at that time no one was like guarding their stuff and um somebody else was like looking at the quilt and like tr like tried to grab it and then they all like yelled at her so i was like oh god this is crazy so anyway anyway long story short short she's finally i have like a hair in my mouth she's finally ready to leave okay guys so she's got her cart and then she's got another cart and she's like throwing stuff in between the two carts so the quilt after forever makes it into her second cart so I'm like, oh my gosh, is that second cart like stuff she doesn't want? So I'm just lurking, right? She's probably thinking I'm such a stalker because I lurked and lurked and lurked forever. So I finally get enough courage and I go over and I'm like, hey, is this cart like stuff you still want? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, okay, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm really sorry. You know me, I'm so awkward. And she's like, well, why? Did you want something? And I was like, well, actually, yeah, I really want that quilt. And she was like, okay, yeah, you can have it. And I was like, ah! literally guys, it was a good day. Like it was the best birthday because like I got this quilt. So I was pretty naughty, I can't even lie. I did wash it when I got home and I know you're kind of supposed to not wash like old textiles but the Goodwill bins are gross so I just felt like it really had to get thrown in. Um, I threw it in the dryer for like just a quick like few seconds like half a cycle all by itself um, just to kill any bugs or anything that was still in it because you know like textiles are kind of eh. So, especially with a big giant quilt, so I was like, okay, well, I need to bring this guy in. Um, and <sighs> make sure it's washed. Um, so anyway, I put it outside to dry like the rest of the way. I just brought it in, it's still kind of damp. Um, I, but I wanted to just show you anyway, um, cause I'm pretty excited about it, I cannot lie. It's really big, so it's going to be kind of a hassle to show you, but I'm going to do the very best I can. Also, it's super wet, which is, you know, terrible, but what can you do? Okay, um, it's not in perfect condition. It does have some stains. Most of them are on the underside, though, not on the top. And there's only one small area where it needs to be repaired, but it's super subtle. So I think my mom can very easily sew it because it doesn't have any like holes. It just has a spot where the stitching came apart and it just needs to be re-sewed. It's like, it's probably my fault too from washing it. So it does still kind of have like a grandma smell to it even after washing it. So I think I'm probably gonna have to soak it. If you have any tips, please let me know because I'm so afraid that I'm gonna soak it and that the colors are gonna run and then it's gonna be completely ruined, especially after I spent four hours stalking this lady to try to get this quilt. <laughs> so just let me know guys um, if you have any tips or tricks about um, something like this, but I'm really, really excited about it. Oh my gosh, I'm knocking everything else over. Okay, so um, this is the quilt. So it is just absolutely amazing. All of the detail in it is just like, I can't. It's so well done and it's so fun and vibrant. I actually have a very old quilt that my grandmother made in the 30s, but it's in terrible shape. Um, because it was used for a long time and washed about a million times and you know when things get washed a lot they just kind of fall apart especially if it's that old 
I'm really not doing this thing any justice trying to show you this way, but anyhow, um, let me know if you have an idea of what, like how old you think this is. Um, I'm hoping that it's like 30s or 40s. I think that's kind of how it looks to me based on like my grandma's quilt, but it could be a little bit newer. It is all hand stitched. Um, so you can kind of see the back, but it does have some stains on it. So I would like to try to soak it to see if I could get like some of the older stains, like you can kind of see some of the older stains out um, and also just get kind of like the old lady smell. I think leaving it outside is gonna help with the smell a little bit just to kind of like get it um, to sun dry, but it's pouring rain right now. So I have it on the patio and it's not getting dry cause it's raining. But anyhow, um, this was super amazing. Um, five dollars for all that stuff guys five dollars like and change but still five dollars <laughs> I'm dead I'm doing a terrible job showing you but I'm just trying to show you it's quite big I can't believe she let me have it because it's probably worth a hundred bucks I would say maybe 50 um but anyway i love it so much um this was an awesome birthday this is like a crazy long video again so i'm so sorry guys i don't know what to tell you but i really appreciate everybody who is watching my videos and anyone who's newly subscribed hello welcome i'm sorry i never stop talking i hope that everyone has a wonderful sunday and um you know have a good week all right bye guys